teachers all across the state have ideas on how to increase learning in the classroom. Some by using technology, others by using different materials like wiggle chairs. But many times those items are not in the school's budget. McKenna Delgarno shows us how some are finding alternative ways of funding. <laughs> With a lack of funding for public schools, materials needed for students can be hard to come by. Right now, all of the stations in the room are being run by donors choose materials. Christy Gordon, a second grade teacher, creates projects through a website called donorschoose.org. You can get eggs to make you have higher points. The website is designed for people or companies to support classroom projects by donating money. Neil Feather, the president of SightLock, says they donate to give back to the community. We wanted to be able to give students opportunities to interact with technologies that they may not have had an opportunity to. But that's not the only way companies can get involved. Hillary O'Brien and the principal of Madison Camelview Elementary says their school made a partnership with the company McCarthy. I just think that there are some challenges um, that we face in public education and I think that it takes a village and we're all here for the kids. McCarthy has donated several items to Madison Camelview Elementary. Things like books, a clothing drive, and even a golf course just like the one right behind me. O'Brien says oftentimes companies don't know how they can get involved. It doesn't always have to be monetary. Sometimes it's just the gift of time. Schools are often looking for volunteers and companies can help fill that role as well. Look at that. Yeah. There's so many things that we've gotten. It's great to have community support. Whether donating money, materials, or time, teachers and schools rely on that community support. In Phoenix, McKenna Delgarno, Cronkite News.